to piggyback on the AI, sir, because last time we talked, uh, which was late spring, you were obviously passionate about the AI trajectory of where we're going. Um, I asked you about the lab project that you have launched, Manhattan Project for AI. Can you tell us more where we are right now with that? How do you see this now evolving in the next couple of months? Yes, yeah, so my, my view of AI, it's this enabling tool that's gonna make humans more powerful. You know, but AI can do so much. It's gonna make our businesses more efficient. But the thing I'm particularly excited about is it's gonna make scientific discovery move faster. You need the human mind, the human creativity. It's just a super charger for that. And, and fortunately, there's such huge commercial money in it that data centers right now are being developed everywhere, everywhere people can get energy and permits. So we put out a, you know, who wants to build on our national labs? We got a lot of land, we'll work with you to get quick permits, 300 responses. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've said is we want people who would move fast, you don't need to tell the hyperscalers to move fast, <laughs> we want to build and we want some of your compute. You know, so we're doing deals now where people are gonna build large data centers and give maybe 20% of the compute out of that data center for our national labs to drive science forward. And of course, fusion's one of those big areas. And then I've, I've also emphasized speed. We could have a new uh, AI for science data center installed by the end of this year, entirely funded by private capital at one of our national labs. So I think businesses are ready to meet this challenge. They're not like, we're not, we're, not, we're not arguing about you know, little terms around the edges. They realize the time is urgent. We want to show the government can move fast and quick and lean in. And I think we're seeing that in the private sector as well. Again, first, first in AI, but we need that same effort, and I believe we will get it in fusion and in quantum.